Hey everyone, today we're gonna do this pretty neon zebra eye. I'm gonna start out using the Rainbow Cake Krivelin Prima. First, I'm gonna load up my half circle Fantasy Worldwide sponge with all three of the colors, and I'm not gonna worry about being too neat. I'm just gonna pat them over the eye with the pink in the inner corner of the eye, fading out to the blue all the way at the edge of the temple. And next, I'm gonna go in with a baby wipe with my finger underneath, and I'm just gonna shape it out to the exact way that I want it. This is a super simple trick to use with rainbow cakes to get the exact shape that you want for your mask or your eye design. And next, I'm gonna be using some Afterglow Cosmetic Glitter in blue, pink, and yellow over the corresponding colors on the design. Of course, you could just use one color of iridescent glitter if you wanted to, but I wanted to make this really pop, so I'm matching the glitters to the paint color, especially this neon pink glitter looks amazing over the neon pink in this cake. I'm just gonna dust off the excess with a clean Kabuki brush. And next, I'll be loading up some Krivelin Black on a number three low Cornell round brush, and I'm just twisting my brush as I load to get that sharp tip. And I'm gonna make, these are almost like tiger stripes, but you can just kind of connect them almost in like a wishbone shape. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what gives it that uh, zebra stripe look. So I'm just gonna come slightly under the eye a little bit, and I'm just trying to make all of my lines flow to a center point at the, it's about at the middle of my nose here. And just remember when you're doing any kind of tiger stripes or animal stripes this, you wanna keep your brush really wiggly and twisted around. You don't want anything that's too perfect or straight because it makes it not look natural and organic like a real animal stripe would be. I'm also really trying to use thick to thin brush pressure. That's also what gives you those nice lines. So you start out just on the very tippy tip of your brush and then push down as you're wiggling and then lift back up to a lighter pressure. And next I'm just gonna go in with some more of that same Krivelin Black and I'm just gonna make a series of dots, smaller and larger, flowing with the design down to the eye. The secret to making good dots like this that are circular and not frayed out is just to make sure that you have enough paint on your brush. Make sure it's kind of liquidy, almost dripping. Because my eyes are so hooded, I have a hard time lining them sometimes, so I'm just going to go in with this Flora brush. It makes it a lot easier for me to use the face paint as eyeliner because it's such a soft brush and it's really easy to control where it's going. I think this eye design would work great for tweens or teens or even for adults that just want something fun and funky and bright. So next I'm just going to go in with some of the neon pink from the cake for lipstick and I'm going to dab some more of that neon pink glitter over the top. And that's it, that's the finished look. I hope you guys like this and you can use this or some element of this. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fun face painting tutorials. See you next time.